Hi, I'm Chris and welcome to Book for the Week, a bi-weekly book talk featuring Kent Free Library staff. Today I'm going to be talking to you about chess themed books. With Queen's Gambit being a hit on Netflix, I decided to feature books that also had a similar theme for chess lovers new and old. The first book I'll be covering today is, to no surprise, Queen's Gambit by Walter Tevis. I highly recommend those who are watching the Netflix show to read the book. What's great about it is it has a more character depth and development, more so than the show, believe it or not. Also, it plugs in plot holes that you might have found yourself questioning as you were watching the show. The second book I'm going to be talking about today is The Rook by David O'Malley. This book is a really fun, it kind of reads like a video game, honestly. Um, our narrator starts off in a park surrounded by dead people. And so we follow our narrator as she goes through and figures out all her lost memories um, and tries to find out why exactly someone's trying to kill her. Um, she is the rook in a secret society that have chess names assigned to positions. So this isn't overtly about chess, but it is still kind of has a fun chess element. So the third book I'm going to be talking about is for those who were interested in The Rook but did not want to commit to a 500 page book. Um, it is the graphic novel series Checkmate by Greg Ruka. Checkmate is the secret organization. They have hierarchies named by chess pieces and it features a whole bunch of superheroes from the DC universe. So you have Batman and the Justice League as they try to solve crime and go against terrorist organizations. Um, it's a lot of fun, definitely a quicker read. So my fourth book is The Eighth by Catherine Neville. It is best described as an original Da Vinci Code, but centered around a famous historical chess set. This chess set has political, like, powers and implications to it. Um, so a lot of different organizations and groups want to get it, including our narrator, who kind of goes on an, an adventure to kind of put the chess piece set back together. It kind of goes back in history and shows you who and how the chess pieces and sets were used by others. Definitely recommend for those who enjoy the Da Vinci Code but kind of want a chess set, like twist to it. So the fifth book I'm going to be talking to you about is Gentlemen and Players by Joanna Harris. This book is a cat and mouse chase suspense thriller set in a London boys boarding school. The narration is told through two characters. One you know is Roy Strictly. He is a professor and he is notated in the book by the White King. The other, you don't really know his identity until the end, um, although there's kind of clues to try to help you figure out who he is, and he is notated by the Black Pawn. The Black Pawn is a new teacher at the school, and he has a vendetta. And so he'll set plot lines in motion that you then see the catastrophic results through the White King's perspective. Through it, you get to know the characters really well. So it is kind of character driven with a lower plotting plot line. Thank you for joining us this week. Um, I hope that you enjoyed the series of books. If you have any other chess themed books that you'd like to share, please leave them in the comments below. Follow us on social media and we hope to see you next week.